move it forward like so. Alright. There you go because you know, I gotta show it to you guys. And that's it. So now, if you look at the oil, it ain't gonna leak no more. You need a rag. You know, just to remove your old gasket. To me, this is reusable. So first, the dial pin. To remove the oil, you're gonna need lacquer cleaner. That's right. You don't need no specific engine oil remover stuff. This thing right here just removes oil instantly. You can also use this to clean out tools. That's what it's advertised for. Normally, you just need to do like the bottom. That way, the metal is fresh. First, you put that. Pick, remove the clutch like that. You put it the same way. Make sure it stays. You follow the root drop key on the, uh, the crank. This is good. Now, don't forget the washer. Alright, after the washer, don't forget your, your castle. Remember, always do by hand first. That way you have a feel that. It is not crooked on the thread. Now, remember reverse thread. Now, there's a mark I'm looking for. When it stops spinning, I'll know. That's it. How do I know? Because the torque is very low on this one. So it will talk properly until it stops talking. So, now we got that going. Let's put the gas tank. Again, before you get the to pass, we want to clean this first, right? to avoid any oil usage whatsoever. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you how I clean it. It's easy. You just put the acetone in there. Just make sure that that's it. Put that clip. That's all you need. Now, the torque specs of these things are: you can see, exhaust manifold, engine, oil drain, oil filter, spark plug. Crankcase bolt, 8 to 12 newton meter. You got spark plug variator center nut, clutch assembly nut, clutch center, gearbox drain, and fill, fan bolt, 9 newton meter, valve lash, 7 foot pound, stand and torque, M5, M6, M6, rear axle nut, about 73 to 95 foot pound. So, everything is blur right now because obviously I need to show you guys a little bit what's going on All right. so it's at 2.2 that's what this is at 
so now I need to put it to 12 8 to 12 newton meter first I released uh, the bottom one and I'm slowly going up remember the zero marks the spot right so we got nine we got we got ten we got twelve that is perfectly twelve right here doesn't matter if it's twelve point four because this is very small torque you don't have to go backward you know one two three four you just leave it at twelve point four alright now you tighten it from here and that should be all okay now that we settled this with the torque spec I'm gonna put the extension for this one since this is a quarter inch so now it becomes a 3 8 right this is that one right here and let's get cracking so now every bolt that I put back in not only they're gonna have the right spec but they have to be Loctite back because as the engine gets old the screw is going to become more harder and harder to take out and whenever the next person is doing any mechanical work that involves removing the, the crankcase they're going to have to break it as the same as I did when I started so for now you're just going to put the screw in and make sure it's properly threaded with Loctite Alright, that's all you have to do. Because this is a video, I'm not gonna torque it, but I'm gonna move it fast. I'm not using. right and the last one right here was from here now here comes a magic trick this one has the extension on it that one right here is torqued properly you're gonna go crisscross all the time you have to start Can you hear it break? I mean, it's good. Okay, we are going to put back the screen for the oil the nut the engine oil nut and properly torque it down the hand torque spec since it's the least we can do right now we're gonna do it get it done get it out of the way Just like that, it's out of the way. That's it, that's him tight. Clean it, make sure there's no oil residue at the bottom. So you have a clean gasket to work with. Now you're putting back.
Now, we're putting back the exhaust. The exhaust has to be 14 newton meter. That's what we're about to do right now. First, we have to fit the bottom. That is the main important. This woman is incredible, y'all. Yeah? Alright. Before we put that in, we gotta match everything the way it's supposed to match, right? In other words, everything has to be aligned properly. Alright. The exhaust here. This is 14. Right? Same at the bottom. The bottom is 10 mil and 14 newton meter. So to test to see if the job is done properly, now that the bike has been put together. It's time we start it, right? It's got oil, the exhaust is in there. <laughs> 